Hello, my name is Al Rausch. I'm an associate professor of physiology here at the Center for Health Sciences. And being a renal physiologist, someone who studies the kidney very closely, I'm interested in the issue of salt sensitivity. And salt sensitivity can be defined as an, a change in blood pressure as a result of a change in salt intake. And generally, we think of this as one who ingests a lot of salt is going to have a high blood pressure. And if you can reduce your salt intake in your diet, then your blood pressure will come down. And indeed, that is the case for some people. However, for other people, that is not the case. And so one of the key issues about salt sensitivity is that um, people respond differently to different loads of salt. And I, I think that's the key thing about the uh, confusion and the controversy about this issue. We also have a big interest in sex differences with regard to salt sensitivity and overall regulation of blood pressure. It's well known that um, premenopausal women are protected against heart disease and cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure in comparison to their age match male counterparts. Whereas postmenopausal women and their age match male counterparts are about equal when it comes to those things. And this highlights the uh, real importance of the so-called sex steroids, estrogen and testosterone. And we have shown in some of our studies that both of those hormones play very important roles in how the body handles salt. Um, one of the difficult things about salt sensitivity is um, it takes a while to diagnose it. It's difficult for a physician to actually diagnose whether or not a patient has salt sensitivity. It can be laborious, time-consuming, and expensive. Some of the promising research that um, is out there today has to do with identifying specific markers in the urine. And this is um, uh, where we are going right now with our research. And we think this um, line of research is going to be a big addition for our studies. And um, we hope that it's going to actually help reduce the high prevalence of hypertension in our society.